Are you looking for some great food and good places to eat on your next trip to Disney World? Well, today we're going to tell you about seven awesome places to eat while you're there and the one yearly event you don't want to miss. So today we're going to tell you about a seven amazing places to eat at Disney World. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and then hit that little notifications bell right next to it. You're not going to want to miss any of our upcoming videos. All right, let's get to it. So coming in at number seven on our list is Be Our Guest at Magic Kingdom. So this is one of the most popular restaurants at Disney World and it's kind of hard to get a reservation. Um, the atmosphere was really amazing. Yeah, we had dinner there, and the, the Beast's Castle is gorgeous. It's a really cool place to eat. Um, the food was good. They For dinner, they do a prefix menu, so you ha only have a few items that you can choose from at dinner. But the, the food was solid. Let us tell you about our favorite thing we ate there, though. French onion the soup. French onion soup was absolutely delicious. Even if you don't like French onion soup, I think it's definitely worth trying. Um, if there's two of you, one of you order the French onion soup. Um, yeah, and try it. It's really, really good. It's really good. And then uh, you had a filet of beef, right? Yeah, a filet of beef. The filet mignon. And then I had a um, like a seafood kind of stew that was actually really, really good as well. All around, the, the food was really solid. Um, you can go see the beast. Uh, he doesn't actually visit tables in the dining room. Yeah, he just kind of walks through, like, I think like every 30 minutes or so, he walks through the dining room. And so you do get to see him, and you can go get a photo op with him as well if you like to do that. Uh, make sure to go over, um, we sat in the main dining room, the uh, the side dining room, what was the little um, side dining room? So that one actually features a big music box of Belle and the Beast dancing, and off to the side is another smaller dining room. It's the dilapidated part of the castle where you'll find the everlasting rose. That was actually the really the coolest part of it all. It's kind of dark, but it's it was really cool. Yeah, so you definitely want to make sure you check out all the parts of the castle while you're there, no matter where you're sitting. Um, and then the last part was dessert, and we got a trio of um, some desserts, and they were all actually pretty good too. Yeah. So if you can manage to get a reservation for Be Our Guest, make sure you go. Uh, we actually heard lunch is really, really good there, so don't hesitate to take lunch as well if that's what you can get. So next on our list at number six is the Boathouse Restaurant at Disney Springs. So this is, the decor was exactly like the name is. It looks like a boathouse. Um, next door they have amphibious car boats that you can rent and cruise around. So the really cool thing about those car boats is if you eat at the restaurant, you actually get a pretty good discount on those if you want to go out and check them out. And of course, the restaurant is sitting right there on the water at Disney Springs, so it's a nice location. So tons of sailing bric-a-brac. I think they actually have a boat that you can sit in. Um, oh yeah, it had some, um, it's like inside the restaurant and they had some seats in there. So that was a pretty cool little place too. But the food was delicious. Nice, the food was really good. Really good seafood. Um, the calamari was excellent. We had that as one of our appetizers. A um, crab and avocado appetizer. Yeah, it was lump crab. Mm -hmm, with some avocado. With some in avocado, it. and it, it was really good. I had a um, shrimp mac and cheese, which was also delicious. How can you go wrong <laughs> by putting shrimp in mac and cheese? <laughs> no, Anything in mac and cheese is going to be good. Yeah. So I had the crab stuffed lobster. Um, the extravagant of all extravagant meals. So just FYI, we did do the Disney dining plan. We're not going to go in depth on this video about the dining plan, but it kind of rewards you for ordering the most expensive thing on the menu. And that sounded tasty, a little pretentious, mm -hmm. but I was like, hey, why not? Yeah, it was delicious. And then probably my favorite part, because dessert is always my favorite part, they had a key lime pie in a jar, which I thought was really good, although my server kind of took it a little quicker than I wanted them to. And I had the strawberry shortcake. Um, nothing special. Uh, it was good. It was a solid yeah. strawberry shortcake. Yeah, all in all, it's a pretty nice restaurant if you're down at Disney Springs. A great place to hang out. Um, we had some drinks, too. Like you had a Moscow Mule. And I had a Moscow Mule. I can't remember exactly what I had, but they were, they were delicious, too. So coming in at number five was the Sci-Fi Drive-In Theater at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. 
So this was a really, really cool restaurant. Um, it's like an old drive-in theater, except of course it's inside instead of outside. You go inside and all of the tables, well, the majority of the tables are inside little cars and you sit inside the car and you watch old um, clips from old sci-fi movies. So it's a really, really cool place. Yeah, so 1950s era, it's, uh, it's really cool. So this is an example of a great atmosphere making you know, okay food, mm -hmm. a great experience. Yeah, the food wasn't bad, it, it was just okay, but like you just really get kind of engrossed in the atmosphere and it was just a really cool place. But um, we tried a, a shrimp and crab fondue for our appetizer there. Um, it was good. And then we both just had a couple burgers. I had a pimento um, bacon cheeseburger and what did you have? I had the barbecue burger. Right. Um, we also had fried pickle chips, so those oh, were tasty. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Yeah, those were tasty. And then for dessert, um, I had a, a donut with some ice cream on it. The donut was okay. The ice cream, of course, was good. You can't go wrong with ice cream most of the time. And I had a classic Sunday, so all around solid me meal, but amazing atmosphere. Yeah. So tip: we went there for lunch, and if you can't get in. Um, buy a reservation just show up like a half an hour before the restaurant opens and you can go ahead and get on the list it's a good way to get in if you yeah we were last minute we were actually one of the last people to get um a in, table in the chair and we were surprised because they told us we might have to sit in the chairs in the back but we actually were able to score one of the um, seats in the car so it was a lot of fun yeah show up early so coming in at number four is the yak and yeti restaurant at animal kingdom now we employed the same tactic as before at the sci-fi drive-in. We showed up early to get on the list to get reservations. Right. So um, these places tend to book up really, really quickly or get really full. And again, if you come in about a half an hour early, a lot of times you can get in at a table pretty quick when the f restaurant first opens. So our server, Allie, actually made this really special. Um, she helped us out with the di deluxe Disney dining plan to let us know, you know, what came with the meal, what didn't. Um, yeah. The Side service note. was top-notch there, at least for us. We had a great service experience. But the restaurant itself is really cool, too. It's kind of um, decked out in, like, Nepal-type decorations, and so it's a really cool place. Yeah, lots of neat woodwork there, so pretty cool. Yeah, and we actually sat by the window upstairs, so we had, like, a nice view. We could see, like, the birds flying outside. And they had these like ginormous that. parrots that just kind of, every five minutes or so, they just swoop across the park. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so the food. The food was also really, really good. It's, you know, not by far the best food I've ever had in my life, but it was solid. Uh, for an appetizer, we had a, um, uh, the shrimp. Fire, were they firecrackers? Called firecracker shrimp. Volcano shrimp? No. Firecracker shrimp. Firecracker Sorry, shrimp. Sorry, I had to look at my list. Maybe they live in a volcano. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? So the firecracker shrimp, shrimp were really good, and we had the pork egg rolls also very good. Um, I had uh, the garlic lobster noodles, which, again. And I good. had the ahi tuna, the Asian seared ahi tuna. Once again, pretty solid marks all the way around. Um, the drinks, though, um, our server recommended two of their special drinks. I had the apricot sour. Um, it came out in a little tiny glass, and I didn't think it was going to be that yeah. good, but it was super tasty, but super potent. Yeah. And I had a kiwi coconut Rita, which was delicious, so very, very happy about the drinks. And then probably the best part of all was dessert. So we were really, really excited to try the um, fried wontons here because we had just heard so much about them being, being really, really awesome. And they were good. But the pineapple upside down cake is where it's at. That's that the cake star of the was show. Delicious. That was amazing. I would, if there's two of you, order two of those. Uh, yeah, it was good. You don't want to miss that one. So give it a try if you like pineapple. So number three on our list is the Skipper Canteen at Magic Kingdom. So this is a Jungle Cruise themed restaurant. It's supposedly where all the uh, all the skippers went and ate. Um, so if you like the antics from the Jungle Cruise, uh, you'll love the Skipper Canteen. Yeah, they tell jokes the entire time. From the time that they pick you up at the, the check-in and walk you to your table, they're just telling you um, just jokes. It's a lot of fun. We won't give any of the jokes away because, you know, we'll ruin it. But uh, definitely a really, really fun atmosphere in there. So it's got that jungle vibe atmosphere as far as the decor. Um, there are a couple of different rooms. There's the map room and the library. 
Um, both smaller dining rooms, we sat in the main dining room. Mm -hmm. But the other two, if you can get a spot, are definitely worth checking out. And if you are sitting in the main dining room, get up, take take a walk, take a look around. It's yeah. it's definitely worth it. And the food here was really good, I guess. Uh, like, we had lunch there, and um, we had a couple appetizers. One was a dim sum, or like a... A sh shumai. shumai. A shumai. shumai. Uh, and that was really, really good. And then... We had the pork... Now I'm going to butcher this name, but Chiapas... Cachapas. Cachapas. The pork Cachapas. Those were really, really tasty, too. Like... So it was um, it was pork on top of uh, corn pancakes. Yeah. So really good. So delicious. And then um, Jed had a beer called a Kungaloosh. And Kungaloosh is a word that means... Nothing and everything at all at the same, same time. time. So, but um, it was actually a beer that was made just for this restaurant, and so and it was pretty tasty. Yeah, and then what do we have for the so rest of our? Food? I had I had the pork chops for my main course. Um, no, not pork chops, lamb chops. Lamb chops. Lamb yeah. chops. They were not pork. <laughs> no. Uh, so super surprised at this. Um, it's not one of the fancier dining establishments, but the lamb chops were really well done and they were really good. Yeah. And I had the Sadie's seafood stew and it was probably one of my favorite. I, I ate a lot of seafood while we were there and it's probably one of my favorite seafood dishes while we were there. It was really, really, really tasty. So for dessert, I once again had the Kungaloosh. Yeah. So they have a dessert called Kungaloosh too. It was good. And I had a, it was like a coconut bar of some sort. And it was again, really, really tasty. So if you're a Disney historian, Kungaloosh, there used to be an old show about the Adventurers Jungle Club. I'm totally but butchering that too. But one of the secret passwords to get in was Kungaloosh. They made up this word. So if you're interested, Google it. You won't find a lot. You won't find a lot, <laughs> but it's, it's a pretty cool, interesting mm -hmm. history. So number two is another restaurant at Hollywood Studios, uh, the Brown Derby Restaurant. So this place is like old Hollywood. So it, it's based off of a restaurant from Hollywood. Think, um, think L.A. Noir <laughs> during that period. So, and the cool thing about it is it definitely has like an old LA, old kind of feel. And it's got a lot of cool caricatures that are all over um, the walls of, of different um, movie stars. And I think they started it back in those caricatures, doing those caricatures and putting them on the walls back in the twenties, I think is where the idea originally came for that restaurant. And they're, they're everywhere. They are everywhere, even in the bathroom. So, and it's really cool looking around and seeing some people that you recognize. So yeah. it's pretty neat. And the food was actually really, really good here. I, we really enjoyed our meal. Um, our server Scott was fantastic. Um, and the, the food was just really, really, really solid. We had a, um, for an appetizer, a beef carpaccio. Oh, that was and good. It was so good. And then there was, um, a, a blue crab, um, uh, lump blue crab, uh, wonton that we had. And it was a huge wonton filled with blue crab that was delicious. And if you know us, we're big fans of blue crab. So it was really, really good. Yeah. So for the main course, I had the filet of beef, um, once again, it was cooked perfectly. The the cut of meat was really, really nice. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And I had a um, black, bleh, black grouper and um, lobster chipano. Is that how you say that word? Our pronunciation is really bad. Watch but, us long enough. You, you'll just cringe <laughs> at our pronunciations. It's terrible. Sometimes. Um, but no, it was actually, I know I previously said that one of the other ones were my favorite seafood meals, but that one was really good. <laughs> As I remember back, it was, it was really, really delicious. And then dessert. Dessert was actually really awesome. So they also had, uh, how many desserts was it? So they have um, six different desserts and um, each person gets to pick a trio of desserts. So obviously we just... Little mini desserts. It's not like yeah, you're getting little... like a cake. So we just decided to get all six of them so we could try everything and... Yeah, some of them were really, really tasty. I can't remember the names of all of them. Their signature is the... the grapefruit. It's a grapefruit cake. It's a really good... It's a grapefruit cake. Try the grapefruit cake. It's really good. It's one of those... It's one of those meals or one of those dishes where you take a bite and you're not sure if you like it or not. But as you eat more of it, you want to eat more of it. It's kind yeah. of... It's kind it of good. weird. Yeah, yeah it's definitely it's really worth good. trying. It's something different. It's not something you find at most places. 
Drum roll. Oh, can you drum roll? I don't know what she's playing right now. The drums. Drum roll. Yeah. I'm you doing like hand The drums. bongos. Yeah. I don't... Well, they're still kind of drums. They are. Number one is the Hoopty Doo review at Fort Wilderness. What? It was our favorite. So I know everyone's like, there's all these nice fine dining restaurants now at Disney, and you know they're supposed to have really amazing food, but it reminds me of my my childhood. Like like Sunday dinner, we used to have chicken, and they had these bucket. They brought these buckets of chicken and ribs, like barbecue ribs and mashed potatoes and corn. What else do we have? Cornbread. Beans. Beans. It was good. Like, I don't know. It just reminded me of my childhood. And then the show was just a lot of fun. I mean, it's funny and it's just a really good show. It's a great time. Um, so everything served family style. You can eat as much as you want. Um, it's a lot of food. So for the two of us, it's not like we had to get another bucket of chicken or a bucket of ribs. We could have no. if we wanted to, but we couldn't even make it through the food that we had in yeah. front of us. We were stuffed. Yeah. And then dessert is a, um, a strawberry shortcake, which was good. It was yeah, good. It was good. It's huge. Um, it's but the, ginormous. But the best part is, is our, our waitress brought us a big old pitcher of beer. And like, so we just had an endless supply of beer during dinner. So beer is good. Well, we ended up ordering one beer and uh, I guess she saw that we were halfway through our beer at some point and she came over and just put a pitcher mm, down on the table. So, that's the way to do it that'll keep us happy yeah there you go <laughs> so yeah like we say like if there's the one place that you don't want to miss or the one show that you don't want to miss in our opinion it's the hoop de doo review because it's all just it's a blast yeah it's good for the adults good for the children okay. check it out yeah and so now it's time for that one yearly event that we were mentioning that you absolutely don't want to miss if you are at disney world and that is the food and wine festival at epcot so we probably did it wrong because this is our very first time that we've ever been there and there were actually people we met several people that we actually met multiple times kudos the to day. you guys kudos to you so they do a like, drinking around the world thing they have like little t-shirts and they like get them checked off and they go to like all the different countries and they try all the, the special drinks and they try to drink their way around the world and see if they can still be walking at the end of the day so keep in um, mind when we last went to disney world which is some time ago and we may be dating ourselves here but they did not serve alcohol inside any park at Disney World. Mm. Yeah, I can't. Re I can't remember if Epcot sold it back then or not. Eh, doesn't matter. But anyway. They had lots of alcohol at Epcot. Yeah. <laughs> so each little country has its own little booth with uh, a bunch of specialty foods. So. Yeah, we're not going to go through all the little different little things because we tried so much stuff. If you're interested, we'll post a card up here to our um, Epcot video, and you can kind of like we mentioned kind of what the names of them are. So that's going to do it for this video, Wanders. We hope you enjoyed our seven favorite places that we ate while we were at Disney World. We think they were all really, really good and definitely worth checking out if you're making plans for a trip to Disney. We want to hear what you like to eat at Disney World. Leave it in the comments below, guys. Yeah, we're going to be in the Florida area for a while. Maybe we'll get back to Disney. So if you have favorite restaurants that we didn't mention that we should definitely try, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Um, Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it and uh, found it useful or entertaining or all the above. Um, and until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful.